Hello friends, thanks for joining me today. I'm Miss Angie at the Portage Public Library and today for my CREATE program, we are going to be making a chameleon. So in your kit, you are going to find a paper plate with a chameleon cut out of it and then the back will be a, a whole paper plate and there'll be a brad attaching them. You are going to get a box of crayons and a chameleon word search to do. There's also something a little extra special in your kit this month. Okay, so the craft, here's my chameleon. So if you know about chameleons, they can change color depending on where they are. So you're just gonna color your back of your paper plate, whatever you want, however you wanna do it, a pattern. You can do uh, like rainbow stripes like I did, whatever you wanna do. Um, you'll notice on mine, I did outline my chameleon with black just so it showed up a little bit better but you'll just wanna take your craft and you'll remove the brad. You'll take this and pinch it and pull it through and then you'll be able to take your paper plate off of the back and color that. Okay, so that is your craft. So what inspired me for this craft? Well, we have some great books at the Library on Chameleons. We have a couple that I wanted to feature that were from our picture book collection. So this one is The Mixed Up Chameleon by Eric Carle. This is a fabulous book with a funny story. If you wanna see, there's some really beautiful pictures inside. Eric Carl is a great illustrator as well. And then the second picture book I wanted to show you was by Leo Leone, The Color of His Own. So it's another book about a chameleon finding his colors and what he wants to be. It says, the sad chameleon has a problem. Unlike all the other animals, he has no color of his own. Changing wherever he goes, he turns red with the autumn leaves and black in the long dark winter. But in the spring, in the green grass, he finds a delightful solution. So in the end of this book, he doesn't turn just a solid color, he decides to become dots, he has dots. So you could also make your chameleon like that if you'd like to. And then finally, I wanted to go over some of our nonfiction chameleon books that we have at the library. We have a great collection of very colorful and informative nonfiction books. And I wanted to show you that on the spine, we have them in 957.95 in the Dewey Decimal System. So if you're looking for books on chameleons, you will find them there. So let's go over a couple of these. This one's It's a Chameleon. And in this book, it does have a table of contents. So it talks about them changing color and the different parts of a chameleon. And then in this book, we again have a table of contents. Look at that beautiful picture of the chameleon. Very colorful. Again, it talks about the body, the habitat where they live, the food that they eat and the life cycle. So there's some really great nonfiction books at the library that you can get on chameleons. So I hope you stop in. You can check out the chameleon books that we have. You can make your craft based on one of those books or you can make it however you'd like. I'd love for you to share a photo with me at angie at portagelibrary.us or you can just send it to our Facebook page. I hope you enjoy this craft everyone and I will see you next time. Bye!